So in module 1.2, we're talking a little bit more about some specific aspects of data management. And when we talk about managing data, there are only four things we can do, right? So this is you know, maybe not going to be too complex of a class if there's only four things we can do with data. And we're going to talk about how our database management system or DDMS allows us to do or facilitates us doing these four things. So these four actions of data management, it's, I think, an unfortunate abbreviation crud because I think of crud as the 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 grimy dirty stuff that's on my my keyboard I have to you know wipe it off every uh, every now and then but crud is a very common abbreviation in data management that stands for create read update and delete and these are the only four things we can do with data right we can create new data we can read data that exists we can update data that exists or we can get rid of it Right? And that's really all we can do. And we're going to be talking a lot about how we do that in our SQL code throughout the rest of the semester. So in order to execute these create, read, update, and delete operations, we use our DBMS or database management system. And some of the big names that you've probably heard of in the relational DBMS space are Oracle, which is what we're going to be using in, uh, in this course, Microsoft SQL Server, which is the other big name as far as commercial uh, database management systems go. And then there are also some open source uh, offerings like MySQL and PostgreSQL. Okay. Um, and one thing that I will, uh, I will point out here, you've heard me switch back and forth a couple of times between uh, saying SQL and SQL. And uh, generally speaking, saying it either way is, is fine and very common uh, in the professional world. So uh, generally, when we're talking about this product right here, uh, people refer to it as Microsoft SQL Server as opposed to SQL. Uh, on the other hand, the DBMS MySQL, the developers of MySQL have actually said that the correct way of pronouncing this is MySQL, not MySQL. So if you want to sound just a little bit more like you know what you're talking about, you call this MySQL and this Microsoft SQL Server. But when we're talking about the, uh, the language, either way is fine. Um, and no one's going to you know fire you or, or kick you out for saying it either way. So, uh, so these are some of our common database management systems. And what the DBMS really does is provides kind of a layer of abstraction between applications that are interacting with the data or users that are interacting with the data and the data itself, okay? So the DBMS kind of manages the organization and the structure of the data and then provides you, the user or the application, with a set of tools for interacting with the data, okay? So as a user of a database, you're never going to be like, tinkering with the data files themselves. All of that goes through this layer of abstraction with the database management system. So this is where things like our data dictionary, which is our metadata, our description of the data sits, where our, our uh, SQL language sits, our data definition language, our data query language, and our data manipulation language, uh, other utilities for interacting with the data, uh, for doing security of our database and for doing uh, backups and restoring data and uh, setting up uh, different types of high availability and, and replication and things like that all happen at the DBMS layer. Okay. And for this class in particular, since we're using Oracle, we're going to be using a uh, a client called Oracle SQL Developer. So this is kind of a graphical user interface for interacting with our database management system. And in this interface, we see uh, a graphical representation of all of the tables that are part of our database. Uh, so here we have, it looks like seven tables. Uh, we have our database uh, buried up under here. We're gonna have other uh, utilities and kind of management functionality. We have an area here where we can write SQL code and execute it directly on the database. And then uh, an area here where the uh, DBMS gives us uh, some information back about the query that we just executed. So we're gonna be taking a much deeper dive into this uh, throughout the semester, but uh, just kind of a, a sneak peek of how we're going to be interacting with our DBMS to execute these four actions of data management, which are create, read, 
update and delete. And the DBMS or the database management system is just kind of the suite of tools that sits in between users or applications and the database itself.